Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and we will be on the Coffee Craft server in just a minute. I wanted to follow up on Friday's Redstone. I got everything working. Um, this is the template for an eight furnace array. On the server, I plan on doing it with smokers and then a second build of equal size with blast furnace. I still want to see if I can figure out a way to do one. Uh, see if I can figure out a way to do one with uh, 16 regular furnaces. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I mean, push comes to shove. The, uh, an eight furnace ray was enough on season zero. Uh, but I mean, why settle? Okay. So first mistake I made was that... Um, here, let me get one of those ready. Oh, ah, doggone it. Um, you can figure out how many items are in a minecart with chest or minecart with hopper. The piece I was missing was that detector rail. With the detector rail, you can pull a comparator signal out from there. That's the part that I was missing. That's why all my earlier efforts weren't working. So we now have a detector rail here, a comparator here, and a signal running in here because the the container si yeah i know because the container size is the same between a minecart with hopper and a regular hopper what i what i can do is however many items i fill in this hopper that's how full this will need to get before it can head out to the furni so I've got this set up for 16, so that means it's going to deposit 8 on the way down, 8 on the way back, pick up another 16. Because uh, it's a hopper minecart, it will pull from this chest stupidly fast. Uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab some kelp. We'll grab a stack and uh, bam. It's already got the first 16, it's down and back. Nope, there's the next 16, down and back. <laughs> oh, let me get out of the way. So it is distributing these relatively evenly. And it's running through the deal. Oh, by the way, all, all that whole stack is already in the furnace system and moving. We're, we're down to the last two. And that is going to go just a little bit longer to top off all the, all the fuel hoppers. And there we go. That was one of the other fun things that I did. I set it up so that way, if... Items are placed in the input chest. It pulls a signal and then runs it into this signal extender. So there's a stack of items in here. Once you power this block here, it's going... So as soon as you put an item in there or more, it's going to power this block. As long as this block is powered... It's going to push the redstone block over, allowing these 64 items to drain into this second hopper. And then it will continue to, to move the signal. because As soon as the first item goes in here, it's going to power this block, which will power this. And send the signal here to this inverter, allowing this to start going. Um... So as soon as an item gets into the input chest, it pushes that over. Items start making their way across. And as soon as the last item is dispensed, I still have stuff in here cooking. So I don't want it to stop just yet. All, all 64-ish of these items will be in this hopper. 
So for as long as it takes for these items to drain back over, this will remain powered, making sure that the carpet duplicator is continuing to run the whole time through. So that means with, with this signal booster, it should keep this on long enough to cover the remainder of whatever's cooking. Uh, so far, I have only tested this out on blast furnaces or, or on smokers. It occurs to me as I'm standing here recreating how, <laughs> reciting how all this works, that because regular furnaces take a little bit longer to cook, uh, I might not have enough delay in that. But I'll figure that out when I get to a standard furnace array. I had to put a bunch of glass over here, though, because <laughs> carpets were ending up in places that they shouldn't. They were bouncing around, so so adding adding the glass keeps that from happening. It also keeps other items, like I accidentally dropped something over here, and it keeps those other items from getting into the fuel. So this fuel line should have nothing but carpet because it's been encased in glass. Uh, it doesn't have to be glass. It can be anything. But uh, I might do it with glass just for a little bit of uh, visual so I can see in there. Or maybe I'll put um, put some uh, trap doors so I can get in there. And instead of having to, you know, break it and then check. I can have a trap door, like, up against that block there. If I can stop falling into the, the hole. Uh... But either way, I need to make sure that this is covered so stuff doesn't fall in there. And I've got that little fire over there burning any overflow on the carpet. So if, uh, you know, it's a really small batch or for whatever reason, this ends up producing more carpet than is consumed. I don't have entities building up where, where they shouldn't. So that'll take care of any overflow on that. Uh... And so that is what I plan on building in on the server. I am going to need some honey blocks. I could use chests in a pinch. And that may be what I do to start off with. I, I'd like to eventually get it, get it to honey blocks because then you don't have uh, yada yada, technical, technical, yada yada. Uh, Sorry, uh, I'm a little overtired and underbrained. Uh, I've got some tea getting ready. I should have coffee, but I would like to actually sleep. Uh, so you can see I've been running this test a few times. Uh, I need to get a, an inventory of materials, but before I do that, I want to show this other device. This is the door that I installed on my mountain cave. Uh, so I've got it set up, so you push the button, the door retracts, gives you a little bit of time to walk through, not a lot, uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, that, that, that's not a lot of time, I, I really would have liked a little more time, but I was having trouble getting the delay. All, all I had to go on was this triple piston extender design. I, I found a video that I need to, I need to make sure I leave a sign to give appropriate credit for and literally it wasn't even three of them side by side it was just one slice of the triple piston extender with a button in front of the uh, observer and it uses the rising edge and the falling edge of the button to to work so I need to use a button for an input device uh, this is just the most compact way I could figure out of getting the signal down from where the button is to where the redstone is. Um, I am not using... Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that too. Uh, I am not using any redstone dust outside of a dot on top of each note block. So this should be fairly server efficient. So you push the button down, it powers the redstone, which powers the block, which the observer notices and extends out the redstone block, which then travels up these repeaters and powers this block, 
which powers the rail, which all three observers see at the same time because of the way powered rail works, causing the triple piston extender to work. And out the back is another rail watched by another observer sending two one tick pulses in each direction. And one is just a tick behind the other. And that handles the delay for the closing action. Um, I really would like to figure out a better way to add delay that's not throw 37 repeaters at the problem. Uh, but that's the best that I could work with at this particular juncture. So I, I may go back in and upgrade this later. We'll see. But this is already built and installed on the server. That is where I'm headed next as soon as I figure out just what resources I need for the furnace. Matter of fact, I need to wipe out the resources from the door and get my handy dandy dry erase notebook so I can start taking a few notes. And then we'll, we'll get to the collecting part. Um, keep in mind that this is going to be for each array of eight furnaces at least for the smaller arrays. So, uh, again, I'm going to I'm going to figure out a way to do a 16 furnace array. And if I need to extend the pulse extender, I can add more than a stack of items in here. Basically, the idea is the more items you add in here, the more delay you'll end up getting on the other side. Uh, asterisk. If you put, like, two items in here, there won't be enough time for enough items to move over to get that much of a, an extension on the pulse. So, I'm not sure how well this is going to handle smaller batches of, uh, of cooking. But, if you need to, you can always come back here and top off the fuel. Oh, I should add, that is the other thing about this. Part of the reason why this works is I had to run this long enough to fill the furnace and each hopper out the back. So by filling, by, by making sure everything was topped off, this small carpet duplicator is able to keep up with everything else that's going on. So, okay. Enough of that. I'm going to need three hoppers. All right. I'm going to need eight furnaces, right? But let's start with the rudiments. Eight furnaces. I'm going to need three hoppers per furnace. And is that... Oh, uh, so that's... 16, 24, uh, so that's 24, 25, 26, 27. So I'm going to need 27 hoppers. Yikes. Good thing we got an iron farm. I'm going to need Do I have a stair in there? No. Why do I not have a stair in there? Oh, because I don't want the slime block screwing with the water source. Okay. So I'm gonna need one slabby jabby and two stairs, although technically it depends on what I do with the output. That is the nice thing about this design is that if we decide we want it hidden from view instead of out in a big open room, I can always set up a hopper minecart on top of this chest at the bottom of a drop shaft so that way items to be smelted get dropped down, get picked up by the hopper minecart, deposited into that box, and then etc etc stuff happens and then from here instead of a chest it can go into a smart dropper or a smart dispenser and dropper uh, and get sent up a bubble column back up to the top 
or wherever it needs to go, just so long as it's not so far out of range that you run into weird stuff with crossing chunk boundaries and yada 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 techity tech. All right, uh, so I'm gonna need two stairs, a slab. I am going to need one torch, two torch. That's it for torches, just two torches, three. Uh, yeah, three torches. I'm going to need one powered rail, two, three, four powered rail. One detector rail. And then eight, yeah, eight regular rail. One hopper minecart. Uh, did not write so big on the dry erase notebook. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to need a composter. I'm putting the composter over this hopper because I want to limit the amount of lag that this <laughs> this machine creates um, unfortunately I can't really cover these and have the machine work the way that it, that it needs to uh, but the idea is you you want the hopper checking as little as necessary for stuff for it to pick up which means something like this that exists merely as a five storage block item uh, that is not going anywhere and it's not pulling anything. So, oops. Kind of, okay. I forgot. I'm in creative. Oh yeah, and I also uh, want to make sure that I spawn proof as much of this as possible. Uh, ooh, I need to put some lamps here and there too. Uh, you'll notice that I've got a bunch of lamps around the redstone here. Th this is excessive for the needs, but the idea is, is that by making the redstone well lit you can reduce server lag by not forcing lighting updates because basically if none of the if none of these lamps were here and this was just in the dark underbelly below the door when this repeater lit up the server's going to have to process a light update for the light created by that repeater and then do it again for this one and then do it again for this one and then do it again for this one and so on and so forth if you've got enough lanterns that these do not trigger lighting updates, it will help your server performance. <clears throat> Arcadius. All right. Uh, I got the hopper minecart. I need one, two, two blocks of redstone. Yeah, two blocks of redstone. To be able to write legibly for once in my life. Ain't gonna happen at this point. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, twelve, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Yeah, six, twelve, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-six, uh, glazed terracotta. That is so that way the slime blocks don't uh, move stuff, but so the carpet does go where I want it to go. Ooh, uh, gonna need one, two, three, four slime blocks. Three carpet and a dead coral fan. getting ready to start counting more than that. I'm going to need a st two sticky pistons and one regular piston. Technically, that doesn't have to be a torch. It can be a lever. Some levers. Uh, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, five comparators. I'm going to need one, two, two repeaters. Oh, wait, uh, that's one more sticky piston. Uh, so that means I'm going to need three sticky pistons. Alright, I've already got the observer. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven redstone dust. Seven redstone dust. And a bunch of blocks. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to need eight, nine, ten, eleven chests or honey blocks. We don't have the honey farm going, do we? two or three levers. Oh. Gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen packed ice or blue ice. Uh, you can use packed ice. Blue ice is better. It just depends on what you have handy. There is a mountain range not too far from us that ha should have some ice that we can uh, mine out for that. Uh, and then I'm just going to say a bunch of blocks.
Because honestly, it does it doesn't matter what the rest is, just so long <laughs> just so long as I know what goes where. You know, a couple of stacks. Uh and anytime I do projects like this, I try to get a couple of decent screenshots of what's going on. So like I'll take a screenshot there. I'll take a screenshot up here. Get one there. All right. So I've got a bunch of screenshots. I've got my most of my build list. I'll be able to use the screenshots to get my dimensions for the uh, for the space. Um. I am, I'd like to use glass where I've got glass here in the demo, but none of that has to be glass. Uh, the only reason why I would prefer glass is it gives me visibility into what's going on inside so I can make sure that things are working the way they're supposed to be working and uh, surfaces are spawn proof that are supposed to be spawn proof. Um, I had to make this cage a little thicker than I would have liked to have because if these corner pieces weren't here, the hopper minecart would occasionally pick up copper and then drop them into a fern or copper carpet and occasionally put them into a furnace. And that that is uh that's that's not what we're looking for. Alright, uh that that should be it for now. All right. I'll find a spot to set up a temporary one. Uh, and then we'll go from there. And like even even that, that should be glass. Oh, no, that does need to be glass. So that way the cart can go back through. All right. Let's, uh, let me get back over to the, uh, there we go. Let me go back to the, uh, to the actual coffee craft server now. But that is the uh, that is the update on Friday's Redstone Misadventures. Oh, uh, hang on, before I show you what's going on, let me. Uh, <laughs> I, I I will switch over. I will switch over to the game. I I desperately need to sleep for a second, and then. Make sure nothing out here is going to murder me. All right. All right. I see you up there, Creeper. Okay. I see you. As long as... Look, you stay up there. I'll stay down here. We'll all be... Oh, good. He left. <laughs> he didn't want... He didn't want any trouble. Uh, so th this is where I've tentatively redesigned it for like the fifth or sixth time. I'm probably going to go back through and put a little more stone arch in that arch. Uh, I tried doing just snow and it, it didn't, it didn't look right. It really did not look right. So I'm trying to extend out the, the cave feel, um, because I'm really, really, really trying to make sure that this entrance feels natural to the mountainside, or as close to it as I can get. That that isn't helping. But um, so there's our door, and there's what I spent most of the weekend on. I got my floor finished. I I can't remember if I started that Tuesday or not. Uh, but you recognize the design. I got my floor finished. I moved the fox in there because the number of times I got shot by a, um, it's not the skeleton. It's when the skeletons freeze to death. Um, why am I forgetting what they're called? A stray. Uh, I, I kept getting shot by strays. 
uh, that were ending up in in the boat with the fox. So I just moved him in here for now. Uh, I, I still need to go get his buddy. So I've got the floor in. Uh, I'm going to put a room off to this side. I haven't done anything with that yet, mostly because I want the symmetry with the door that's over here. And this door here leads to the old uh, cave that I had originally dug and found by accident when I fell through. Uh, I do I do plan on excavating a basement. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is getting it up so that way I can start building some support arches and leave holes for the uh, glow words. Um, shroom light. <laughs> I was going to say glow shroom, and I know that's not right. The, so the shroom lights will provide illumination for the basement, and I won't need all these torches around. Uh, that might mean that this ends up being a, a low ceiling. We'll see. Uh, first, I gotta I gotta do all that excavating. I won't do that right this minute, but I want to make sure that this door leads down to the basement, and maybe to a room that has stairs down to the basement. I haven't figured that part out yet either. Uh, boxing, boxing, boxing everywhere. I'm putting in a back door, so that actually goes to the other side of the mountain. I wanted to figure out how much more mountain I had to work with. At least in terms of direction that way. Now I know. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it today or not. But uh, I would I would like to actually build a little path uh, from, <laughs> from my back door down the side of the mountain. So that way there, there is an actual safe path down through the mountain. Um, I, I can't tell if that's something unfortunate happened or if, uh, or what happened there. Okay. No, I was like, I do, I do have, uh, do you have my boots on? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. All right. Anyway. I'm going to build a little path down to the field and maybe maybe build a walkway over to the village that way. Uh, actually laid it up. I haven't, I haven't really thought too hard about that one yet. And I, I think I want to run that one by uh, the rest of the crew. Uh, who are around somewhere. Just not on somewhere. Oh, what else? Oh, yeah. And, and farming the warped stems to get all those planks and everything was a nightmare. Uh, put the copper to good use, though. I, oh, <laughs> I forgot that when you use copper to make cut copper, one copper block makes four cut copper blocks. So I just tossed a stack in there and hit go. <laughs> so I, I've got, uh, where did I, my life. Th this, this is my life. Which box did I put uh, that in? Which... No, seriously. Which box? Did... There we go. So I, I've got a lot of cut copper left over, which I can then turn into stairs and slabs and other things like that. Uh, so just know that if you want to extend out your copper supply, turn it into cut copper. That, uh, that goes a lot further. Uh, that is it for here. Uh, let me let me put my mending silk touch pick somewhere safe real quick, and let's head over to. Let's go to the village. No, let's start gathering materials. No, to the village. Oh, I I need to replace that bit of powdered snow. Something could end up uh, dropping in here that I don't want. I still got to figure out uh, how high I want the ceiling. Thank you, Arcadius. I still got to figure out how high I want to make the ceiling and what I want to do with it. I almost want to carve this into a dome. But I know that I want probably starting uh, here-ish. Uh, three, four, five, six. No, here-ish. 
I, I want to a stairway on that side and a stairway on this side to start like here and end up on a second floor with a balcony that overlooks the, the inside. So maybe maybe I actually will move it back uh, to here. I mean, it doesn't have to be that far out, so I got to go back and look at my uh, circle radius and figure out how far out I want to make it to get a half, uh, get a quarter quarter circle, and then figure out where that height gets me. At one point, I just don't want it square. I want it as close to a circle as I can get in Minecraft, which I know that isn't far, but. Um, all right, get ready. Get ready to shuffle through a lot of chests, because uh, store storage is still storage is still an issue. We're working on it. We're working on it. Um, I'm going to need. Oh, I need a sixteen. Sixteen blue ice. Hey, medic. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. You know you don't have to, right? You know, right? How are you doing? I, I take it it's been a late work day, otherwise you'd be on here. Alright, uh... No, you don't. No, you don't. How much clay is terracotta? Did I say I needed 26? I guess I got plenty of glazed terracotta. Color doesn't matter. I appreciate that. Alright, um, you wouldn't happen to have a stash of honey blocks around here somewhere, would you? Because I have not gotten to do anything with bees yet. Or are we short the glass? No, Arcadius already said that he doesn't. Alright, then I, I guess I'm going to just use uh, chests. Um, at least for now. Ooh, I need to get cracking on my lumber supply. Ah, I could use more lumber. All right, I'm going to need 11 chests, so that's going to be 22 logs, because it's two logs per chest. Yep. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I totally knew that going in. <laughs> no doubts about it. <laughs> and if you believe that, I got some oceanfront property in Arizona to sell you. Uh, so I got the packed ice. I got the chests. I need seven, seven redstone dust. Uh, which, which, which of these unfortunate boxes did my redstone get put in? This, this is Arcadius level storage. Oh, <laughs> I might have collected a few heads too. Oh, it's going to be in there, isn't it? No, okay. I need seven redstone dust. What do you mean, hey? Go, go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. I'm waiting for it. I need two repeaters. Uh... Two repeaters might be a problem. Oh no, there's more redstone dust over at the over at the village. Um Oh, oh, Cranky. Uh I'm gonna need <gasps> Go see if he has sand.
I needed four slime box. Oops, that's only two. Um, yikes. That, that's about all my slime there, because I'm going to need the others for sticky pistons. Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll just... Hey, okay, I'll take it. Sand, red sand. Still gets everywhere. It's coarse and uncomfortable. Or something. Alright, I'll figure out the rest of it when I get over there. I think I'm going to have to pillage a little bit more from the storage over over on the mountain. Uh, why am I going out the front door? Yeah, I definitely want to get a winding mountain path. That's a little easy way to wind down here. And maybe, maybe make it all the way out to, um, out to the village. I gotta make sure that doesn't, uh, that works for everybody. Let's not jump into a ravine. Not today, anyway. You can never tell if it's going to be one of these little one block dips or uh, that. <laughs> I would love to fly. I, I need I need rockets. To do that, I need to build the mob grinder. And I need to figure out... Uh, yeah, I'm going to build that over the lake by the portal. But that that's not a that's not a right now. That's not a right now thing. I, I it will happen. It will happen because I, I desperately would like to fly. Uh, I want to try to figure out how to do this. So I've got a combo mob grinder and sugarcane farm. Um I mean I was joking with Arcadius that we should uh, we should decorate it like the the floating castle from crystallis or laputa uh, or no not laputa uh castle in the sky oh my brain um and uh or <laughs> but if it's going to have all the stuff for rockets we might as well just make it a giant floating rocket above the <laughs> above the uh <laughs> Above the water. <laughs> okay, that is Laputa. All right, all right. My brain's not as not as addled as I as I thought it was. <laughs> I say right now, give give me a little bit. <laughs> that 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 might change. Um, by the by, medic, we we appear to have an iron golem problem. There's two there. And about six more wandering hither and yon, uh, all all over the place. I can't tell if it's these guys creating golems, and then they wander off, or if it's something from the iron farm. Either way, I think they are interfering with the iron farms. What you might need to do is trap one golem close enough to these guys they detect that he's there um relocate the other ones that's probably arcadius bouncing around uh re relocate the other ones because i think what's happening I i've noticed the Iron Farm is occasionally turning off, and I suspect what it is is one of these guys is wandering close enough to the farm 
that those guys think they've already spawned one. Uh, yeah, and the guy in the single hut probably does need to move as well, but... that a llama? Yes, that's a llama. A wandering trader appeared. So I really wonder if it isn't the, the villager breeder causing golems to appear and wander off, and they're wandering close enough to these guys that it turns the farm off. That That is, that is pure speculation. Uh, a semi-educated guess. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 I, I did, I looked and saw them there earlier, I just haven't gotten around to, uh, to checking to see everything that they have. Rest, what's, what's with the dot, dot, dot? But yeah, we definitely need to like get one of these guys and, and uh, secure him close to these people so that way they, they know that he's there. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're not doing that on Coffee Craft, not on the stream. Matter of fact, when next I get a chance, I might try to trap one of those guys in this corner here. If I can nudge them without getting murdered by a golem. Alright. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, I did buy some mini blocks from the last wandering trader. So whoever wants them, there they are. Uh, that That's what I had on hand. So... We got some mini iron ore, mini glowstone, mini bone blocks, mini pistons, and mini stone. You're welcome. Uh, I also went through a lot of bone meal. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get this project stuff together. I need eight furnaces. Twenty seven hoppers. That means I'm going to need twenty seven chests. So I'm going to need forty, fifty four logs. we have a lot of dark oak. Crikey, that, <laughs> that burned through a lot. Uh, Alright, eight furnaces, 27 hoppers, I need two stairs. Uh, doesn't even matter what kind of stairs they are, so let, let's just go one, two, two stairs. Oh, come on. Cooperate with me, mouse. A slab. Three redstone torches. I need four powered rail. We don't have any powered rail over here, do we? That means I'm going to need to dip into redstone. And... We got fuel in the furnace. All right. What? Why is there purple concrete powder in... Never mind. 
I I am confused. <laughs> we all need places to put our project stuff. Getting sticks. <laughs> Somewhere you thought no one would look? What what is this magical place? Alright, I need four powered rail. Okay. We'll have extra. I need one detector rail. Uh detector rail is <laughs> we had stairs on a slab there. Uh, detector rail is something with uh Yeah, yeah. There we go. Detector rail. I only needed one, but okay. We'll have extra. I need eight regular rail. Not like we won't put the rest to use. <laughs> I mean, if you really wanted to get into the redstone, you could. You could leave yourself a little treasure map that you keep in your personal inventory and bury your valuables. <laughs> or just use the uh, you, you use the ender chest for your uh, project storage. <laughs> All right, uh, detector rail rail. I need I need one hopper minecart, which means I still I need one more chest. Um, I think I'm done with the sticks. Because I need to make a hopper and a minecart, then a hopper minecart. I need two redstone blocks. The 26 glaze terracotta, which I've got. Four slime blocks, which I've got. I need three carpet. Uh, I know somebody's been sharing all these sheep. Where's the wool? Where is the wool? Seriously? Do we have no wool over here? No. Maybe I'll just make my eighth pair of shears and, uh... Check the Fletcher box. Oh, oh, for the string. Okay, okay. I, I'm tracking now. Hi, guys. I just need the three carpet. Alright, the one thing I don't think we have on hand anywhere is the dead coral fan. So that part will be the last part of this I put together. 
I need one observer. I need three sticky pistons. So I'm gonna need redstone, brick, iron, and planks. Three sticky pistons and one regular, so we'll go one, two, three, four. Then go for three of those guys, and that gets us our three sticky pistons, our one regular piston. I need two or three levers. I'm glad I could be so specific. It's my own fault. <laughs> I did that to myself. I have no one to blame but myself for that one. Uh, I need five comparators. Five comparators. So that, that's why I brought all the quartz with me. Um, I don't know why I'm organizing the box. I can't. I can't help myself. Uh. Oh, no, because the comparators need stone. Five comparators. Two repeaters. Five comparators, two repeaters, seven redstone dust, 11 chests or honey blocks, and the packed ice. All right, so the only thing I'm missing is the, is the uh, coral van. Um, dark oak, dark oak, dark oak. Irony. Quartz. Slime. And I know I'm going to need a bunch of glass, so I'm going to cook all that sand into glass. And I need a bunch of regular building blocks. Uh, we got anything cooking? We do now. Crikey! Oh, hello, Beach Duck. How are you doing? Here I was thinking that we were out of uh, running low on stone. Yeah, I know how that goes. All right, um, so that's everything but the glass, the building blocks, and there you go, Rast. I turned it around for you, just for you. Uh, need building blocks. This is temporary, though. Right. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, where's my flint and steel? And. Do we have a random extra flint and steel around here? I, I oh, needed a composter, a composter, water. Ah, oh, there was three carpet. Oh yeah. I'm forgetting something. Oh, I need uh, I need at least two double chests. 
for the input and the output. out of I know I'll build it out of deep, no I'm not gonna build it out of deep sleep I just need some temporary blocks so because th this is not going to be a permanent setup for now for yet uh, that probably made no sense all right that, that way I just know what's going where um rest so you have an actual, like, uh, big league furnace array. Do you want me to set that up down here or out there somewhere? This is just temporary. It, it'll, the, the finished one will go wherever you decide it's going to go. What, where's your big furnace array? That, that's not a big furnace, all right? No. Bigger. This is just a temporary setup. Oh, hi guys. Because I, I know that you and I and everybody else are probably going to need to cook things until we can get the permanent ones set up, so... Uh, where to? That is a big one. No, that's not. For me, it is. I've gotten so impatient just waiting on two furnaces to finish cooking what I need cooked. Your impatience is not my problem. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> oh, hello, hello oh. gentlemen. Oh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're not starting up with those gentlemen again, are we? No, well, I don't... This one looks cracky. Why do you look cracky? Oh, because he's been beat up by mobs. Oh, I don't like that. Well, it gets some iron One, and two. Is that how you do that? Yeah, yeah. You take uh, iron ingots and you right-click the iron ingot on the iron golem and it heals him up. Where you at? I go fix him. I'm coming to the storage unit to get iron so I can fix him. Okay, because I have iron. I was coming to bring it to you. Oh. At the doorstep to the castle. <laughs> yeah, he looks sad. <laughs> Fix him. See? All fixed. And him. And him. <laughs> what am I... Am I on uh, Iron Iron Giant and Patrol? Him. Yes. And hints. I mean, it feels kind of weird that we're repairing them with the, uh, the, the remains of their fallen comrades. There are four over there. Uh, there were seven when I last did a count, but I think there's more than that now. Five, six, seven, eight. They don't look hurt, though. <laughs> An iron medic. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, not nine. Yeah, yeah. I like I said. I think the problem is either these guys or the farm. I'm really thinking these guys are the culprit. The golem wanders away from their detection range. And then they think that there isn't one around, so they spawn another one, which wanders out of their detection range. Rinse, repeat, until you've got a veritable... So just trap, a, trap an iron golem over there somewhere. 
So that way they, they, they will feel his presence and be comforted or something. And so if I put this temporary furnace array over here by the jungle tree, you're not going to get mad? Where's the jungle tree? The, the big tree with vines on it? I don't see one of those. It. Oh, over here. Why aren't we putting it in the mountain mountain? Oh, we can do that too. I just didn't know if we had a spot for it. No, put it in the mountain mountain. Where in the mountain mountain? In the big room that I hollowed out, if it's only temporary, because I don't, we don't know what we're doing with that yet. Okay. Because I, I thought that was going to be for uh, community storage. No, we don't know what it's going to be. We haven't hollowed that. Oh, get in the hole! Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Ha! Oh, I, here I am thinking there's a problem. <laughs> did you did you trap a golem? Yes. <laughs> How to trap an iron golem. All right, let's, uh, okay. So he's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have to like name tag him or something. Nah, he's fine. Oh, why is he on the roof? Cause he path, path found, path finded, path finding. Uh, I'll, I'll. We we can deal we can deal with the excess population a little bit later. They are now comforted. They have a friend. They have a friend in you. Yep, and they can see it. You've uh. Do I dare ask how many deep slate bricks you've put down? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't want to ask that. You don't want to know the answer. Uh, I think I do, but th this is this is getting very Isn't impressive. Isn't it looking cool? Yes, yes, this is getting very impressive. Um, do these wool blocks over on the east side and south side mark doors or windows? Mm, depends on the bull block. Okay, so the one over by the house that hasn't been torn down yet because it has our mending guy. I'm assuming that's oh, going to be Oh, those mark monsters. Monsters? That's where the dude is. No, not 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 the not the grumbly wool. I, I'm in the the zigzaggy pattern room that's going to be the library. And there's two white wool over on the east side and two white wool over on the south side. Oh, that marks the center of the room. Oh, okay. So it, it's not a something is going to go here. It's just I need to find the center line and here's my... Mm -hmm. That's the center line of the room because it's really hard to visually keep <laughs> track of when it's a zigzag floor pattern. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I... I Believe me, I get that one. <laughs> so uh, I made myself little markers so I could remember <laughs> where my center line where, is. Where the center light is? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, listen, I've listened to enough Ben Crow. I, I know what happens when you lose your center line. <laughs> but it's getting there, and we haven't even done the second floor yet. Are, are you going to put a little, are you being served uh, on the second floor? No, that was fourth floor, mm -hmm. right? No, that was second floor. That was second floor. I think. Okay. I don't remember. Hold on. <laughs> that is a lot of deep slate. I know that you, Medic, and Arcadius worked very hard on gathering all the deep slate 
Ground floor perfumery, stationery, and leather goods, wigs, and haberdashery, kitchenware, and food going up. First floor telephones, gents, ready-made suits, shirts, socks, ties, hats, underwears, and shoes going up. Second floor carpets, travel goods, and beddings, materials, and soft furnishings, restaurant, and teas going down. So it depends on if we're talking a British first floor or an American first floor. Because in America, we would call that the second floor, but in England, it's the first floor. <laughs> because in England, the, what we call the first yeah. floor is actually the ground floor. Actually, huh? Speaking of... Speaking of... What are you getting I in on the ground floor? I had an amazing conversation with a customer today. Okay. So, customer calls, and he asked for one of my colleagues. Unfortunately, that colleague went home because they weren't feeling well today. So, I said the thing that I do to literally every customer in this situation. I said, sorry, you know, they're not there right now, uh, but is there either a message that I could take or something that I might be able to help with them with? And he says, well, you can, he says, well, I, th I think you might be able to help me, but I need to tell you kind of some background story first and it might take a minute. Okay. So that's cool. We can. And he proceeds to tell me the saga of the situation that he was in. And at the end of it, while he's finishing, there was like a brief pause and I explain it by saying, sorry, I'm taking notes while you're talking. And he goes, well, you know, let me know if you need me to repeat any of that, because I understand that I, I have a pretty thick accent <laughs> and it sometimes it's a struggle. He's Australian. Ah. <laughs> okay. And, and, and I giggle and I, I say, you know, they, th thank you so much uh, for that consideration. I said, but um, I'd say about 90% of the content that I consume is one of the Queen's land <laughs> or a place that used to be the Queen's land. <laughs> exactly. So um, I, I'm, I'm pretty solid with the accent, but thank you very much for your consideration. And, uh, yeah, nice. so we had, we had a great old conversation and, you know, while I was doing some stuff in the background that I would do for him later in the day, uh, while we were just like casually talking, um, I mentioned that I grew up in an area that used a little bit more of, uh, the Oxford dictionary rather than Webster's. So, uh, I can definitely, uh understand things like you know i argue with my colleagues all the time about whether or not color has a u or you know things like that and i'm like it does and he goes this is actually the hardest problem i have is when i transition in between countries because i try to when i'm in america use the american spelling and when i'm home use the real spelling <laughs> and the real spelling. <laughs> And he says the problem is when I go home and I forget oh. to use the Queen's English and everybody looks at me weird or when I first come here, it's that in between that's yeah. that's the problem. So it was a great conversation, but everything he said, he just, he kept, you know, do, do you need me to respell that? Do you need me to do this? Like, no, nah, we're, we're good. Then repeat it back to him. He's like, oh, you've got it. I'm like, yep. Like, promise. I understand. <laughs> Nice. So it was a lot of fun. And he was super nice. So that made everything like I, I wish more people in on the customer side of any service experience would understand how much their attitude can impact the results of a situation. <laughs> that. All that. Um all the screenshots that I took so I could follow along with what I had already done came mm -hmm. out black. <sighs> Bother. Uh... 
that's it. I need to go make up like a bajillion ender chests so I can start putting them everywhere. Please don't make it ugly. Why? This is temporary. I, I just I just wanted to set it up somewhere that we can actually use it until you tell me where in the castle it's going. And don't forget, I can route I can route the no, input and output. It, hmm? I thought you were putting it in the castle or in the uh, mountain. Well, no, because I don't want to take up the space for uh, for for medics storage stuff when he gets to starting on that. I don't want him have to have to work around it. So where are you putting it? Over by the skeleton farm for now, so you can kill skeletons, get XP while you're waiting for your stuff to cook. What? I can feel you looking at me, even though it's over audio. But I'm still building in this area. Well, it's temporary. It's not going to be there forever. Yeah, we've said that about a great many things. See our last several seasons. What? That doesn't seem right. deeply bothered by the fact that all my screenshots came out black. Oh, I wonder I wonder if it's XSplit interfering with the the ability to take a screenshot. Cuz the other ones I did in my testing world came out fine, but all the screenshots I took during one of our live streams did not. on hold until I can uh, get some screenshots going. Nah. I can figure this out. I mean, I already figured it out once technically, so... Uh, I went in here to look for the chests. Because I need... The idea is that the items flow towards the chest. They end up on that pixel ledge. I needed 11, right? Well, that's 8, 9, 10. Okay, so the ice had to have come out one more. Eleven.
No. I need... Over one for the powered rail. is nice too. Alright, because those are there. I needed a slab there for when they turn turn the corner all right okay so far so good I need some iron I, oh yeah that's right I needed two iron two iron posts some XP while we're at it. I guess I forgot to put that on my uh, my shopping list. Sure, that's all I needed was two iron bars. Oh, that seems dangerous. How you do? Did I leave flint steel in here? up as a goofy puppy. Did you know that? No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. He's a spectacularly goofy puppy. So far, so good. Oh! You want to give me those thorns armor? No? Distracted a little too easily. No. Uh, Who plugged 
welcome my vent and how? Oh, you, you don't like the dirty clog in the kitchen? They're composters. No. Yeah, they, <laughs> you could tear them down. Why'd you clog my vents? Well, you wanted a realistic kitchen drain, right? Should I put the spider webs to make it look like a hair clog? Ew, There'd be bigger questions. <laughs> No? No. I even partially filled them up at different levels, so it looks like stuff gunk is stuck in the, uh... No? What kitchen did you used to work in? I never worked in a kitchen. As someone who has, let me tell you that if that's your kitchen, <laughs> you have problems. <laughs> Like, something is genuinely not right if that is what your kitchen drain looks like. So good. So that's where the comparator signal comes off. Uh, I need a bunch of those. We need the sticky piston and a glass. That's going to go out there, which is going to go to that, which would make me regret constantly having to jump on and off. This is an appropriately metric amount of st metric stuff, right? All right, so that should be that should be the. Oh, I need two chests. Should have brought scaffolding. I guess anything scaffolding if you try hard enough. Um, a 
copper mine cart. There we go. Yeah, that should be the loading. The furnace. Now I just need the duplicator and... And the signal... The signal extender. And of course I left all that down there. I also need something to spawn proof a few a few spots. Alright, let me go get Lanterns, maybe? Sleepy, sleepy the time. The stream says there was a network error. Uh-oh. Uh, I still look live on this side. <laughs> I may not look lively, but I definitely look live. Uh, I'm having trouble focusing on building and streaming. Uh, to which I need to apologize to the three people still watching, which might not be anybody at this point. That might just be you, Arcadia Semitic. Uh, yeah. Everything's still live on the monitor. We'll put that there. Okay. I thought I was live. I, I just not lively. Okay, because I'm only seeing three people on uh, on my side. All right, let's get some glass and terracotta in the observer. Yeah, let's just grab. I know I don't need any more power drill. I know I don't need any more detector rail. I know I don't need any more of that. Uh, oh. And I'm gonna need a stack of counter stuff. Uh, they, they very well could be. And not in the bad sense. I need that and that and that with a spot of redstone dust. check where the signal goes from there. Uh, I need two hoppers.
I need a stack of counting. Piston goes on that side. The regular piston goes on that side. The redstone block goes there. The stack of oh, counting. Ah! Oh, that's right. It's got to run once. doing its thing. The I gotta remember how this side went. the way it was supposed to. I had a sticky piston there. had to be further back because uh, extended out it was over the water yeah did I miscount my glazed terracotta uh, figured out almost everything except for the duplicator because I want to say it was because Should have been one over. Carpet, carplet, dead coral. Carplet. Carpet. Backwards. Is carplet like a little carpet? Yes. It's a tiny carpet. It's a decorative carpet. We should have carpets. It's from French. Uh, no, 
because I actually think that was out. One more, because that, yeah, because that's going to be ex some glazed terracotta. There should probably be one right there. So that way the water doesn't uh, flow out that way. Alright. Uh, no, I'll wait until the morning. <laughs> I still need I still need to do something with a bunch of this other stuff. I can't do the carpet until Hi guys. They do accumulate if you if you're not like sitting there staring them down trying to make sure that you uh you know, like come on, give me stuff. Stuff Let's definitely go in there like that. Terracotta. We'll do that after this nap. Need more glass too. I think I got some back at back at my base. Oh, <laughs> of course, there's monsters nearby. No more monsters nearby. I start singing about how I love to go wandering. My knapsack on my back. Oh, Ray asked. Question for you. Mm -hmm. Do we want to build a path leading from the mountain to the village? Like a little walking trail type deal? Mm, maybe down the road, but I'm inclined to say not right now. Okay. Although, I'm about ready to set up a rail. So I could just hop in a mine cart and go back and forth between the two. Or we can just put mending on your... Cape. I have mending on my cape. I have no rockets with which to fly. Okay, then build the rockety, makery, sad chamber kill thing. That is on the agenda, but I, I, I need more materials to do that. Some of which require cooking, hence the smelting. Where? Oh, yes. Uh, b believe me. I have tons of cobble that I have not yet moved over to anybody's storage anywhere. Uh, I've got at least two and a bit double chests. 
Where did my back door go? I lit it with torches. Hello? Oh, oh, there we go. Maybe I need to, like, ring it with glow. With string lights or something. Alright. What did I come here for? Oh, uh... For scaffolding. For... Glazed terracotta. Crikey. My brain. room will be happening very soon too. So I just need... Oh, glass. That's what I was... Okay. Oh, yeah. This was... Can I lose the door to my own base? At least one more, apparently. I have torches. Where is the door to my own? There it is. Hey, Accident, how's it going? <laughs> uh, the only thing, the only thing deep fried is my brain, apparently. I, I can't, I, I've spent too much time searching for the door. Uh, I did get this done off stream, though. The main room for the, uh, the main room for my, my little corner of the mountain. I'm going to put a balcony up, uh, that's going to go down to the basement, that's going to go to something. I haven't figured out what. I got a nice little, uh, redstone piston door going. And, and like, the 18th iteration of my, my entrance on the inside of the caldera here. Which will probably go through at least three more revisions before, before it's actually finished. And this guy, I had to move inside because Stray kept getting stuck in the boat and shooting me with slowness arrows every time I walked out the front door. And I still gotta bring his buddy over from the swamp. Poor guy. He's been sitting over there keeping the turtles company. I came here for something, though. Glass. Uh, <laughs> that's also been a lot of the stream. I came here for something, though. Oh, uh, I have a couple of axolotl to get set up, and uh, I'm hoping Arcadius has found a heart of the sea, because that way we can set up a conduit in the in the uh, 
was about to say guardian farm, but it's not a guardian farm yet. We got to clear it out. But when we go to take care of the underwater temple, we can set up a uh, conduit and not worry about drowning while we clear it out. Glass. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if you could grow coral fans by bone mealing coral. Like, I, 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 for some reason, I really think that that was a thing. But I'm not sure if that's just wishful thinking, thinking it was a thing, or if it was actually a thing. Does that make sense? Please tell me it makes sense. Cause, but, uh, and I had... I had another bucket of water somewhere. Or is it in that box that I can't, keep, can't open because I put the barrel on top of it? What's in there? Nothing. It's empty. Fine. Fine. I'm not even... Why, why am I even going to... Fine. Uh, if I were me, I would have put another bucket of water. There's all my lava. I've already picked on Arcadius once, so I won't go. This is Arcadius level storage. Uh, I also seem to have lost... I... I... Yeah. I seem to have lost my mind. Which is of little surprise to anyone at this particular juncture in time. <laughs> right, let me go get another bucket of water from somewhere. supply somewhere? I don't think we do. Uh, surely medic's got one. He's usually better prepared than me. No, nope, that's lava. Uh... got to be one down at the bottom oh yeah that's right there's a lake at the bottom of the mine isn't there CP, uh, CP, CP. I can't I don't know where a bed is here I'm in an unfamiliar place there we go what? why does he have a stairway that goes nowhere never mind I'm probably the last person to pick on stuff like that. Can I remember which button goes to my door? <laughs> that is pretty grand. I, I got a yeah. That, that's pretty nice. Is on the hunt for something, and I'm not sure I want to know what. Nice. 
You're really just now enchanting something? That's right. That's right. I'm sorry. I, I keep forgetting that part. Uh, short-term memory something. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know that I'd call it no problem, but... Uh, oh, did you finally eat that, that sweet berry that you've had for... No, you're saving that for later. Okay. You act like I don't feed you. You're as bad as Jabba. Like, looking at me like... Nobody feeds me. Like Java, I swear, people look at you and they can tell you've been fed. Nobody's looking at Java and thinking he he's not getting fed. You don't know that. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. He scared a couple of the movers earlier today. Not oh, intended. Why? Uh, just, they, they were trying to move a, a dishwasher into uh, somebody's uh, apartment. And they turn around the corner and the first guy goes, oh. And the second guy goes, what are you talking about? And they look, sees Jubba, oh. Like, <laughs> relax guys. I, I promise you he's not. Yeah, I get the feeling that this is only going to be in, uh... Now, for some reason, I thought you could bone meal coral and get a coral fan. But uh, I feel like I'm forgetting a detail that would make that work. No, I'm, I'm quite certain I'm forgetting a detail that would make that work. Uh, no, no, not dirt. Um... I'm wondering if it has to be a a uh, tropical ocean, warm ocean, whatever the ocean's called, or if I have to have more water over it, or both. That's the part that I can't remember. Because I, I know some of the stuff like that, it actually requires a certain depth of water. Um... As I've mentioned, my, my brain is a, a smidge fried today. Words. How do they work? Alright, let me see if I can at least get the rest of this put together. Because I think... Ooh, nice. Uh... <laughs> Because I, I noticed there's been a lot of talk about the bed about the bedrock beta that's out and uh, and some of the some of the stuff that's supposed to be coming. I like if they were to talk about one deep wish, I, I wish it would be that redstone is consistent between the two of them. Because uh, I, I hate this like oh hey cool tutorial for bedrock. Oh okay. Uh, and vice versa, when people like you come by and go, Oh, that looks like a nice machine, but it only works in Java. Uh, that that kind of stuff, I, I really I really wish would go by the wayside. I know some of the some of the parody concerns are, are things that Java people are all about like, no, this is the only way. Uh, this is the way it should be. A and vice versa on on the other side um and, and i mean i i get that each of them have have their pluses their minuses but we're kind of at the point where it's like something's got to give on this somebody somebody is going to somebody is going to be unhappy about this and i get that i feel bad but i don't feel bad 
<laughs> you know, lately. This is just the way things go. Uh, Arcadius, can you bring me torches, please? <laughs> I feel like I should be worried about that. Okay. Also, we're out of black, uh, out of uh, deep slate. Already? Hmm. Uh, yeah, there, there's a weird issue with Optifine, and so some of the some of the textures don't quite get a little funky. At least I'm pretty sure it's from Optifine. I feel like I, I feel like I, I, I missed something here, and I don't, I'm not sure what. Because the screenshots that I took ended up black, because something, something problems with XSplit. Uh, no, I want that to go there. I need the torch to go there. So that way that's powered, and I can turn that off. Maybe I ended up getting this a little bit tighter anyway. <laughs> oh. If only I had brought scaffolding. Definitely does not look right here. Something does not look right. Uh, extra redstone torch because I substituted a lever for one of those. I don't know why I have two extra redstone dust. That, that bothers me. Um, Something, something is definitely not right here. Although that might work anyway. <coughs> Except that lever should actually be there. Yeah. Are the golems bringing the cats? No, the villagers are bringing the cats. And that is the same problem as why we have so many golems, because the cats spawn, they wander away, and then uh, when the game next checks to see if there should be a cat, it doesn't find one in the detection area, so it makes another one. The cats will eventually despawn, though, unless you tame them. No one tame any cats. No? But they bring you stuff when you yes. sleep. There are so many cats. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to add the water until I get the dead coral and I figure out what is bothering me about this. 
something is definitely wrong here. the worst place in the world to log off, but it'll just be for a minute. Did I miscount the number of repeaters? down to <laughs> uh, okay yeah and I did miscount the terracotta so that that is one of the things that is wrong uh, that is one of the things that's why one of those doesn't look quite right and oh and I don't have a block I'm just powering directly into the piston okay okay and there is a two block gap Uh, so this is the input chest for the furnace array. 16 items will go into the hopper minecart, spread out and back, so on and so forth. While there are items to smelt, it'll turn on the carpet duplicator. And that pulse extender will keep it on until the last thing is done burning. And that slab is over by that block at the end of the line. There's only the one rail there. All right, I think I got the rest of this the way it's supposed to be. Not not bad for trying to figure, trying to do this by memory. Maybe. Arcadius, does it look well lit enough now? And so we got that block. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I need one more repeater. One more repeater, and then I can get the rest of this done. I'll do that for the moment, so that way that doesn't turn on while I'm moving this. That goes there. That's going to get... still have two more redstone than I thought I needed. I mean, that's not the end of the world. But it still bothers me. Alright. I need one more... One more repeater. Back to story. 
storage. Arcadius, you wouldn't happen to have found a dead coral fan, would you? No? Okay. Or a live coral fan that we could make dead? The trader dude didn't want to sell any? Nope. Not until we don't need... Oh, <laughs> Isn't this the way it always goes? You find a trader dude? Uh, we had one spawn near the beginning of the live stream today. And all he had was red sand. Or all he had that Arcadia said was worth trading was red sand. This might end up being another uh, long weekend adventure. Oh, he walked, wait, he walked off the castle wall? Like, he walked off or he walked off? So one redstone dust and... Oh. I wonder if you got one of the iron golems, man. What happened? Uh, Arcadius went to go get the stuff to trade with him and he was suddenly no longer there. I didn't see any notifications. Because you weren't on yet. Oh. I told you it was at the beginning of the stream. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, I feel like this ended up being longer for some reason. Or longer in the in the test world than it did here, but you know what? If it works, it works, and I'm not going to get that mad. I'm going to want to put something here to keep carpet from getting where it's not supposed to go. Um, I'm going to want to cover... That, so stuff doesn't accidentally fall in. Ah, bother. Oh, bother. done that with uh with glass but but we just don't have that much at the moment
All right, so other than the carpet duplicator not working, I think this is ready for a maiden voyage. I just need, I just need a dead, uh, a dead coral. Oh, and two more blocks to plug that up when I get done. I always get nervous when I see you wandering around my uh, redstone builds. I don't know why. Need more torches. Always. Oop. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, it's nine o'clock anyway, so I might just call it a night. Uh. find a random coral fan somewhere. There's some uh, <laughs> some random bit in the different. Uh... All right, no. I guess I'm gonna have to take a long walk for uh, for an ocean. I know somebody put in uh, the private Discord coordinates for a coral reef. I guess I'll have to get in my boat and mount up a an anti puffer fish suit. I wish that was a thing. Chainmail should protect you from pufferfish. Actually, no, it shouldn't. Because, never mind. That, that's the one thing chainmail can't protect you from. Although I saw a data pack that uh, Voodoo Beard has where uh, uh, chainmail is treated like a apiary suit. So it lets you manage bees without getting stung. It adds a, as a uh, special ability for chainmail. Yeah, yeah, kind of like a shark suit. I think on that mountain there, I might build an ice tray, just so that way we have a renewable supply of ice that's not in the way, you know, hide it in the mountain a little bit so that way you, you can't see it. Let me try one more time to find my door. My little hidey hole on the mountain. Yeah, we're in a snowball, but we're trying not to, to rough up the terrain too much. Or at least too much more than we already have. That was the theory, anyway. Hey, I found it with less fuss this time. So I'm going to try to finish up that smelter array so that way we can get stuff c 
cooking with a quickness. Uh, that should be finished this weekend. I'm going to look up how coral coral works because I, I know you can do more. I really, really think that there's a way to grow coral fans, and I just don't... Or maybe it was... No, it was the coral. Uh, not the coral blocks, but the coral coral. Because um, the terminology Mo Yang chose wasn't confusing in the least bit. Uh, if I don't get it done this weekend... Next week, I'm going to start on the balcony and the stairwell because what I want to do is probably starting about here ish, get a stairwell that goes around a quarter turn and up as close to circular as you can get in Minecraft, and then start working on the second balcony. And once I know where the balcony is going to end up, I'll know how far up I need to run the ceiling, assuming the mountain doesn't tell me it's going to have to be lower. Um, and I'm going to arch up from the door to there and then try to get kind of a arched dome to the ceiling. And I don't know, I don't know what material I'm going to use. I think for the stairwell and the trim on the balcony, I'm going to use stone. I tried, I tried using like polished black stone for these pillars to give it a little more visual variety. And the black stone is in that color space that it's, um, too close to be a contrast, but too different to be a compliment. So I might end up having to spend more time hunting for deep slate or using polished blackstone. Uh, although even then, that, that's only working because it's in the floor. Um, but I think the stone will match the polished basalt enough that it'll kind of, it'll fit in nicely and contrast enough with the deep slate. I hope. Because I got a ton of stone. I get so much stone. I don't know what to do with it all. Uh, and then and then we'll go from there. I also really, really, really need to... that. You see where the snow's coming down? That means that there's powdered snow there. So stuff can actually uh, fall, fall through. Let me just go ahead and... Yeah. Let, let me go f put a regular snow block there because that's going to keep driving me nuts. I, I would like to not have a creeper suddenly fall into my base because he fell through the snow. There. <laughs> I mean, I still got... No. Yeah. I still got some more powdered snow. I, I do... That is a hunt... That is something that is on on my agenda to 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 de powder snow our little caldera so that way uh if you get shot by by and murdered by another wandering patrol you don't lose all your stuff in the powdered snow i really like that door i'm really undecided on the design for the for the the wall uh, it needs something a little bit more. Maybe it, maybe I'll put some fence around to kind of get... Ooh, let me try that real quick. Sorry. ADDO butterfly. It just need it needs a little more a little more transition or something. Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, uh, vertical slabs would be nice, but I I am definitely of the opinion that the way they changed walls gets it close enough. Um. I might need to...
Holy mother That's a of little redstone better. Batman. What? Have you seen how much redstone is in the community center? Uh-huh. Not for long, don't worry. Or diamonds? No, I haven't seen the diamonds yet either. Oh. It's not a little. Well, that's what happens when you get fortune fairly early. I think that's more diamonds than I've ever seen. No. Yeah. It's community redstone, and uh, I, I think of the four of us, I end up doing more redstone than most. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta do something different about that arch. I'm not liking that. I do not like it, Sam. I am. I do like this door. <laughs> Irrationally so, because it's a little simple and a little plain. I'm also tempted to knock out that corner and that corner and put snow. So you get a little bit of an arch doorway that drops down. But, uh, I don't know. Where did Medic hide his people? What do you mean, where did he hide his people? I thought he made people. Yeah, they're in the villager breeder. Well, I'm going to put air quotes around that. That That's why we keep having iron golems, because there's a little village in that hut. Well, there were only like five, though. <laughs> no, we're not hiding the bodies. We're just hiding the people. That's totally different. And not at all How worse. How do you talk to them? Well, you only talk to the ones that have a profession. If they don't have a job, they're not worth talking to. Uh, I do... I put a little glowstone in the corner of the floor because I do plan on excavating out this entire underneath and setting up a basement. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the basement, but I, I will be doing something in the basement. Uh, it's just mining. That, that's when you get a weekend and you load up a, a bunch of podcasts or a live stream or something. And uh, round and round you go. Getting more stone than you know what to do with. I would like to figure out a way to get a better uh, delay system than throwing 27, no, 37, sorry, 37 repeaters at the problem. And I think I'm going to have to find a name tag to silence that fox. Yes, you. All right. I guess this is where I'm going to call it. Um, there we go. Now the button went. <laughs> that kind of day. Uh, I hope you had fun. We do Coffee Craft every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Fridays at 6.30 p.m. I do another live stream. Uh, right now the, the subject is up in the air. I do plan on getting back to the Zelda series. I'm not entirely sure when that's going to start back up. But something will be streamed on Fridays as well. And um, I've got two guitar projects in the works that... I will live stream some of the work on, but it will not replace Tuesday or Friday's stream. It will be an additional one. Uh, just not sure where that's going to be. I've got a Stratocaster body that a friend of mine picked up at a churchyard sale for a dollar. That looks fantastic. It's got the pickups and all the electronics all in there. 
Uh, it just needs a tremolo system, a neck, uh, <laughs> you know, a, a few small things. Yeah, for a dollar, I know. Uh, and, and, and so I'm going to, I'm going to, he's going to pay for the parts. I'm going to do the labor and build it. And it is going to be an amazing, uh, close as you can get to a strat strat for, uh, for whatever, whatever we can manage. I'm hoping to re replace the, uh, bridge pickup with some sort of, some sort of humbucker too. But, uh, my friend is very particular about the pickups and, and <laughs> And very particular about the aesthetics of the pickups as well. Uh, that That's another discussion for another day. I also have a Les Paul kit that I am going to build uh, for myself. It is a spalted maple top, and I plan on coffee staining it. Never mind, the coffee's just out of reach. Ba back there in the corner is some Starbucks coffee, uh, because I didn't want to waste real coffee on coffee staining. So, so I'm going to be, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to coffee stain the body. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, it's, it's right there at the end of the table. Um, but I'm going to legit coffee stain the, the body and I'm not sure what else I'm going to do to it. I'm going to do something. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, our I might be doing a uh, another Telecaster build or something along those lines in the very near future as well. We shall see about that. And all that rambling out of the way, let's go find somebody to raid. Oh, choices. Grimly is playing Apex Legends, and Beast Lord J is playing Monster Hunter Generations. Uh, they are both worth a follow. Uh, Grimly and Beast Lord, they are they are wonderful people. G R I M L I and Beast Lord J, one word, who we are going to raid. So uh, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Stick around for the raid. <laughs>